With both the Ohio primary election, which is only 39 days away, and general election in November, presidential candidates view Ohio as a crucial state. And so important is Ohio. Eight presidents have come from this state. That sets the stage for today's My Ohio segment with Leon Bibb. Not the current campaign, but a past campaign. We view today, this greater Clevelanders presidency ended in tragedy, but his burial spot in Cleveland draws thousands of visitors because of all presidential resting spots. This one is unique in every way. The clicking heels of a visitor echo off the marble floor of a special place. Generations ago, on the day this Cleveland place first opened, thousands of pairs of feet walked this route. This is a place in Cleveland built, sadly, because of the murder of an American leader from Cleveland. During his life, he actually stated that he wanted to be buried at Lakeview Cemetery. Our story both begins and ends in Cleveland, but its middle chapter winds through the American presidency, the White House in Washington, D.C. The final chapter is the city's Lakeview Cemetery, final resting place of a president who was murdered. This is the memorial to President James A. Garfield, who was from Mentor, Ohio, and was murdered by a deranged assassin who fired a bullet in 1881. When the body of the 20th president was first brought to Lakeview Cemetery, it was to a temporary vault. Eight years later came completion of a permanent memorial building. The body of James A. Garfield was moved here. All his adult life, Garfield was a vital player in the 19th century building of Cleveland. He was very popular and he changed our thinking about human rights and a lot of other things in this uh, country. So he advanced us as a society. A sealed casket bears the body of President Garfield. The monument is open to the public only April to mid-November. This is the only above ground resting place of an American president. The crypt also holds the body of Garfield's wife, Lucretia. So on the right is President Garfield under the flag, and then there's his wife, Lucretia, on the left. Every November 19th, the birth date of James A. Garfield, the President of the United States sends a high-ranking U.S. military officer to this place. The officer brings with him a wreath to be laid at this place. It is in memory and in tribute of an American president, James A. Garfield, here at this presidential resting place. Garfield had been president for only four months when he was shot. When Garfield died in 1881, the government of the United States did not pay for presidential burial spots, nor for this monument and memorial to house Garfield's body and that of his wife, Lucretia, who died years later. Money came from private donations, Records show $300,000, which would equal $8 million in today's money, was collected for construction in Cleveland's Lakeview Cemetery. And I think sometimes we forget all the culture and historical things that are around us in Cleveland. This is a part of the presidency of the United States, right where we stand. Absolutely. The memorial is at the highest point in Lakeview Cemetery. Ohio's James A. Garfield was the last American president born in a log cabin. Stopped by an assassin's bullet at a Washington, D.C. railroad station, the president died weeks later. Sixteen years before, when President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, it was said of Lincoln that he now belongs to the ages. Can much be said the same thing about James A. Garfield? Absolutely. But I'd like to claim him first for Cleveland and then the ages. In a corner of Cleveland rests a political son of the city, who was elected to the White House to lead the nation. President James A. Garfield, whose body in a sealed casket lies in state 135 years after the news went out of the murder of a president. Lakeview Cemetery is on Euclid Avenue on the eastern edge of Cleveland's University Circle. The inside of the Garfield Memorial is open for public viewing from April 1st to mid-November. It is the only above-ground resting place of an American president. I'm Leon Bibb. Got to put that.